gears here at 648 on the start of a Wednesday. All new for you this morning. One local gym is do doing its part to make sure that one sport growing in popularity is more accessible to people who may not typically try it. We're talking about rock climbing. It's actually popular enough that it's about to make its debut in the Olympics a little over two weeks from now. With that exposure, climbing gyms are expecting to see more new faces coming through their doors. So Taylor Apps is live for us at Central Rock Gym, finding out how a special event this Friday is in hoping to inspire more diversity in the local scene. Hey, good morning. So there's going to be an all day long party here on Friday at Central Rock Gym, and it's all in the name of diversity. So we're here this morning with Jen, who's the assistant manager here, who's going to tell us a little bit more about Friday's event. Jen, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. So talking about diversity here, what kind of people do you want to get in here and join you guys in on the fun? Um, we're looking to get all walks of life in here. So people of color, different abilities, capabilities, um, like veterans. We work with several different organizations to help diversify the sport of climbing. Gotcha. So people can come down here for this event and kind of donate in order to expand the group here. Yeah. So the event is... Um, basically free and then we'll have tables set up with different information on the organizations like Brown Girls Climb, Waypoint Adventure, um, a few other ones and it's just kind of like getting more information, getting money to help fund that because it provides gear and memberships and gets people to be able to climb for free um, from these donations. Awesome. And I know you're going to be doing some crate stacking here so show me what that is. I've never heard of this before. So we're going to be stacking crates on Friday? Yeah. Okay. So on Friday we'll have a rope set up at the top. Um, and then a board at the bottom, so then you set okay. a crate down. Gotcha. And then you get another crate and you stack it on. So from there, you have to climb up into the crate. Oh gosh. So as you stack, you get it on, Woo. you go up to the next one, and you keep adding crates on. So the higher you go, um, we, the record at the gym right now, I believe, is 20 crates high, but you're harnessed and roped in, so you're completely safe. So when the crates fall, there's nobody around and you're just wow. going to be floating, swinging in the air. <laughs> wow, that's that's so cool. Okay, so if I want to get involved in this, tell me uh, what I need to do, how do I get involved, and what time do I need to be here on Friday? Alrighty, so for crate stacking, we do have time slots available. So it starts at 3 and it goes till 8. They're hour-long time slots. You can reserve your slot online. We do have a recommended $5 donation to do the crate stacking portion of the event. Um, after crate stacking, mm -hmm. we'll go right into the party in the parking lot. So there's different lawn games. That's where all of the tables and vendors will be set up. Um, so to get more information on the different organizations, we'll have a couple local vendors, like t-shirts and chalk bags um, oh, gotcha. for sale and things like that. And then from there, we go into the Real Rock event. Awesome. Well, Jen, thank you so much. We'll have all that information for you and more on our website at WKBW.com. And if you guys know me, you know that I like my feet. If I could super glue my feet to the ground, I absolutely would. <laughs> but I am going to step out of my comfort zone here. I'm going to do some rock climbing or crate stacking or something. So stick around for the end of the show so I can uh, face another one of my fears yet again here on 7 Eyewitness News. We like to put you to the test, Taylor. We'll see you then. <laughs>